Hey everyone, I'm Corinne with Life After Neverland. Sean isn't able to be with me today, so you guys stuck with me. But our new format is five minutes of catch up, recap of Big Brother All Stars. Just to catch you up on everything that happened on Monday from the veto meeting. So here we have Christmas and Kaser put on the block by Enzo. Enzo's trying to pretend like he's got the biggest kahunas on the planet, really only to just keep it super safe. So we go from a lion, Enzo, being just a little pussycat, meow meow. Unfortunately, Kaser tried to sway as many people as he could to his side, but he was just talking to deaf ear. So that being said, on a vote of 10 to zero, Kaser went home. We love Kaser so much especially his exit speech, which dropped a bomb of knowledge on all of the other house guests. The household competition begins, and what does it do but reveal some alliances and pit some targets. Maybe this competition was chosen in hopes to reveal some of this, but ultimately what ended up happening is Christmas won the HOH by default. Devon fought as hard as she could and made it all the way to the very end, only able to choose between Christmas and Memphis. Devon, on the very last question, the only question that really, really mattered, she hit the button and rung in and ultimately got the wrong answer. And who won the HOH? Christmas. And of course, all of us BB fans are pissed. Wouldn't it have been an amazing week if Devon would have won HOH? And now this crazy, humongous alliance of alliances is in power again. This is gonna be another stinky week of the same power on the same side of the freaking house. So my only hope is that Tyler will maybe use his anger and frustration towards Danny to get in Christmas's ear so she can go towards some of the people that are in these huge octopus, as Ian calls it, alliances. Or will they play it safe and go towards the outsiders? As of right now, it looks like Christmas is gonna vote out Davon or Bailey. So just to give you a little bit of information on what's been happening in the Big Brother house since we last saw their episode Thursday evening. Kayser's speech was amazing. Where did he get all this information? Some of his own speculation, but mostly from his conversations that he had with Ian. Now, what has been new is that Bailey went to Devon and said that Ian has apparently apologized to Nicole for spreading the rumors about the alliances to Kaser. This is highly concerning because I am rooting for Ian. Right now, Ian is our only hope. My hope is Ian can spin things around and get some of these outsiders together to battle against the house that has all the power. But now, he apparently went back to Nicole. Pizza break. <laughs> the good news is that Christmas goes to Tyler and says, hey, I want some input. So that tells us one thing. Christmas will listen to Tyler. Now, does Tyler have the actual cojones to make a big change in this house by convincing Christmas to do so? Tyler says to her, do we really want to go after people who aren't coming after us? Maybe Davon and Bailey, just because the other people in the house want them to vote them off. There could be hope. Really? Kelly just farted. She's a girl dog, but she acts like a boy. Tyler is telling Christmas right now that she needs to pick a side. Either go after Devon and Bailey or strive to go after Danny. So he is putting ideas in her head. Tyler is saying leave people in the game that aren't coming after them, but that might even go after each other. One of the things that was a little bit cringeworthy to me was that Christmas and Tyler were laughing because they sat out the entire HOH competition and Christmas still won. Legit by default. Haha, <laughs> very funny. No. So I'm going to leave you guys with this. Who do you think is playing a great game? I feel like Christmas and Memphis are playing really great games. What's crazy to me is that Kaser and Janelle both had no idea what Memphis's alliances were, which tells me that Memphis is playing a good game. He may or may not be a game that we all enjoy, but he's playing a good game. He started all of this uh, octopus of alliances and scapegoats, really. I mean, that all was all started by Memphis. So it's very interesting to see where this game is gonna go and who are gonna be the last two at the very, very end. But anyways, you guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. We appreciate your time. Who do you think are gonna be the last two standing? I'm gonna guess this week, maybe Tyler, possibly Memphis. And wouldn't it be interesting if Tyler finally won this game? And funny if Memphis came in second. 
yet again. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you soon. And much love to Kaser. What a stand-up guy. Kaser and Janelle, amazing human beings. I love how Janelle is about being a strong woman. And Kaser's heart is the most beautiful thing. I am so grateful to BB that we at least had an opportunity to see Kaser and Janelle back in the house again. Much love to both of them. Now let's see if Tyler can win this game.